I would not blame her if she pulled out of this at the last minute. I, I, don't, I don't think you need to have just seen the pilot episode of The Crown to get a basic sense of she might be marrying into a family that could cause her some emotional complications. <laughs>
You're English. You must be really excited about the royal wedding. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I, don't, I don't really. You gotta be. Really? Look, he's a Brit. He's marrying he an American yeah. girl. You're British. You married an American woman. You got any tips for him? I would not blame her if she pulled out of this at the last minute. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think you need to have just seen the pilot episode of The Crown to get a basic sense of she might be marrying into a family that could cause her some emotional complications. But this generation seems like nice people, right? They're all nice now, right? Yeah. I mean, there's, they're, they're, a, they're an emotionally stunted group of fundamentally flawed people doing a very silly pseudo job. That's what she's marrying into. So I, I, I hope she likes it. It's going to be weird for her. And I understand that you don't like Meghan Markle. You've made it so clear a number of times on this program, a number of times. And I understand that you've got a personal relationship with Meghan Markle or had one and she cut you off. She's entitled to cut you off if she wants to. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. OK, I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry. No, oh, uh, sorry. So, do you know what? That's pathetic. You can trash me, mate, but not my no, own. No, 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 no. See I'm, you later. I'm being... So sorry, can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behaviour. You see... I'm sorry, but Pierce spouts off on a regular basis and we all have to sit there and listen.
They've trashed his dad. They've trashed his brother. They've trashed his sister-in-law. They've trashed everything the Queen has worked so hard to maintain with the monarchy. And they're supposed to believe they're compassionate. They felt Do they were fame. trashed. They felt they were lied about. She said that she was driven to the verge of taking yeah. her own life. She says that, yeah. They... I said, as an all-encompassing thing, I don't believe what Meghan Markle is saying generally in this interview. And I still have serious concerns about the veracity of a lot of what she said. But let me just state for the record about my position on mental illness, mm -hmm. right? And on suicide. On mental illness and suicide, these are clearly extremely serious things. They should be taken extremely seriously. And if somebody is feeling that way, they should get the treatment and the help that they need every time. And if they belong to an institution like the royal family and they go and seek that help, they should absolutely be given it. And if it turns out Meghan Markle, and I'm not, it's not for me to question whether she felt suicidal. I wasn't in her mind, and that's for her to say. If she, my real concern was a disbelief, frankly, and I'm prepared to be proven wrong on this, and if I'm wrong, it is a scandal, that she went to a senior member of the royal household, told them she was suicidal, and was told she could not mm. have any help.